For the 76th All-Ireland Senior Football Final, Croke Park, headquarters of Common Loo Class Gale, held 87,000 people. 1963 was the season of fallen champions in Gaelic football. The first Roscommon and Offaly surrendered their provincial titles, then Kerry, the All-Ireland champions, and down the Kingpins of Ulster, lost in the semi-finals to today's contestants. Dublin, the Linster champions, and Galway, the champions of Cut. But if Kerry had been beaten unexpectedly by Galway in the senior semi-final, the boys from the kingdom were here to keep the green and gold colours flying in the minor final against the maroon jerseyed lads from West Mead who started firm favourites. They obviously were not worried that this had been the year of the underdogs. It was not long, however, before their confidence began to wane because it was Kerry and not the boys from Linster who set the pace from the outset. For every missed opportunity by Westmeath, the Monster Boys drove over points. By half-time, Westmeath, who had expected to be in front, found themselves eight points in arrears. Positional changes during the interval stemmed the flood of scores for a while, but they did no more, and Kerry, the reigning champions, went on to score a facile victory, their seventh in the series. On to the senior final and the parading team. Galway in maroon jerseys and Dublin in sky blue led by Des Foley. Refereeing his first senior final was a honest patron of the GAA greets Mick Garrett, the Galway captain and Dublin's Des Foley, agus on Shin on Tauron na Shunta. Though not everyone was looking, the big game got underway. And Galway, the underdogs on this occasion, are the first to attack. They are awarded a free. Seamus Layton gathers the ball, runs in, and shoots wide. Seamus Layton again. Across to Cyril Dunn. Another wide. A bad start indeed. This is better. Point by Matty McDonough gives Galway the lead. But it was short-lived as Mickey Whelan equalised from this free. McCain beats John Donnellan and kicks down field. Bosco McDermott returns the compliment. This time McCain punches back to Hickey. Hickey is grounded by Layden. He recovers and clears down field. Brian McDonald to Jerry Dave. Across the goal mouth, returned by Simon Bean. Mickey Whelan has a shot, it's blocked down by Noel Tierney and cleared. Mickey Whelan hits the post with a free, but it's a point. John Donnellan to Mick Reynolds. Back to Donnell. Across into the square. But the ball eventually comes out to McCain, who relieves the pressure. Galway are still forcing the pace. Keenan gathers the ball from a free. And there's the equalizing point. Galway again, and Matty McDonough puts the Connacht champions in the lead for the second time. Des Foley takes a free from midfield. Jerry Davy is fouled, another free. Mickey Whelan to take it, the teams are level again. Cyril Dunn to McDonough. McDonough is fouled. A free in, says referee Eamon Moores. 
Dunn takes the kick. Galway are in front for the third time. Another free to Galway. Dunn gets possession and holds on. Yet another free. And yet another Cyril Dunn point. Galway are definitely on top now. Late in rounds, Hickey passes to McDonough and Matty fists over a point for Galway. Egon Sos be lecher na galleve chan fosig le she colini in ai ker colini egal clear. In lohe chan an chlehe dischen be an tuchtran eman de valera an taratuns kolagus troch tala is an alenchig agus a van agus koivino bioloi. The second half did not get off to a good start. The throw-in ended in stalemate. So did a hopped ball. Indeed, the marking was so close throughout that a total of 52 frees were awarded in the hour. Des Foley shoots in for Dublin. Noel Tierney catches, but here's the referee. This looks bad, and Mickey Whelan scores his fourth point from a free. On Pichach, Sean Lamas. On the Galway 21-yard line. Des Ferguson emerges with the ball, Passes to McDonald, who scores the equaliser. We're still for Galway. A goal by Jerry Davy brings all Dubliners to their feet. Here's the same score from another angle. Sideline kick into the square, and both Davy and Fox are there to finish it to the net. Galway's reply: Cyril Dunn takes a free, and Seamus Layden punches a point. Fox collides with Des Ferguson. He recovers and passes inside. Davy and Ferguson miss it, but there's Mickey Whelan to restore Dublin's three-point lead. At the other end, Matty McDonough reduces the gap to two points again. Dublin have caught the scent of victory and improve with every minute. Now John Timmons scores a point. Casey kicks out for Dublin. Matty McDonough fields the ball. Crosses to Keenan, and the lead is again reduced to only two points. A free by Matty McDonough. Now only one point separates the sides. But John Timmons has the last word for Dublin with this point to leave the score: Dublin one goal, nine points; Galway ten points. Dublin are now the new All Ireland champions and take home the premier trophy of Gaelic football for the 17th time. Des Foley had the honour of receiving the Sam Maguire Cup from Uchtaran the Hero. For Des Ferguson, who came out of retirement this year, for now Foley and John Timmins also, it was a day of particular significance, because they are the first Dublin men in 40 years to capture two All-Ireland medals. This was a final which Galway lost through faulty shooting.
a final which Dublin won because they took their scoring opportunities. Go free shin, we are currently to come out a glacier of fear. Ah, can our Eric Lemuit in the Galiba on our shop? Twister talk, Puha Rish, sorry, what?